Hello everybody, and welcome to this week's Inkscape developer update. I'm an Inkscape developer, and my name is Martin. Um, I try and develop Inkscape features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for jo joining me here this week for this update. Um, first of all, as always, I want to give a big shout out and a big th thank you to all of the lovely people who are supporting me on Patreon and Libra Pay. The hours that I spend working on Inkscape are only really possible thanks to your support. Um, if you'd like to join them, uh, please do consider. It can be as little as one dollar um, a month, and together, uh, algamated, we can turn this into something sustainable. So, uh, thank you, everybody. This week, uh, first of all, I fixed the remaining P PDF import issues that I mentioned last last week. I did that at the weekend. Um, now PDF and SVGs are importing multi-page correct correctly, which is nice. Um, so the bulk of my time this week was actually spent on the um, new export and dialogue, which some of you may have seen from the tweet that I put out. Um, I've actually resurrected this branch from a Google Summer of Code pro project by, uh, I think it's Anshu Anshudar. Uh, they had gotten quite far with this fe feature. They, you know, produced the user interface and done quite, quite a lot of it, but they'd run out of time. And, um, sometimes this isn't as important, but the, um, the export dialogue is a, uh, it's a dialogue that has been needed to be refactored refa refa for a long time. So I felt like it was in, like more important to get it over the line. Um, plus, I also wanted to get some of my own fe features in. Um, the multi-page stuff, like exporting multi-page pages, can't really happen until uh, this merge request is done. So <clears throat> what have I done? Ah, Martin, what have you done? Uh, so, okay, so let's walk through what the export di dialogue now looks like in this uh, branch that I'm processing right now. Uh, we have the single and batched exports split out into two di different tabs. Um, I added the multi-page support to the single export mode, basically sim sim simply select which page you want to export. Um, and you can see it actually shows the uh, preview of the image that you're going to export in the di dialog itself, which can be very helpful, especially if you use the, uh, you know, only export the selected items uh, and various other op options. So you can see exactly what kind of image you're going to get in the output. Um, I actually had to rewrite the uh, preview code here because uh, it had issues with aspect ratios and backgrounds and re rendering issues. So, uh, it ended up just being easier to rewrite it, um, but it looks it looks very very nice. Um, you can also see how in the actual dialog itself, you can now select the export type. So you can select from a number of uh, raster options like PNG, JPEG, uh, and so on. But you can also select SVG as well. So if you want to export just a selection of SVG shapes, you can just select them and then export them as an SVG. Uh, which is actually a very useful fe feature that I've heard some uh, Inkscape users have been asking for for a while. So let's move over to what's probably the more impressive uh, dialogue, which is the uh, batch export. The batch export, it, I mean, it was in the previous dialogue, you'll probably remember, it was just some, something added to the bottom of the dialogue, but now with its own tab, it can really have its own room to breathe. Um, so like in the sinks and single mode, I added the multi-page to the batch exporter and um, you can actually export each of the pages as a sinks and single file uh, as raster and also as SVG, which should be quite useful for people using um, multi-page SVGs. Uh, most of the fixes on this dialog that I've done have been in the back end, cleaning up widget uses, cleaning up the way in which it uses Inkscape code. Um, but it's actually quite quite impressive. You can create multiple exports for different form formats and then just export them with a suffix for like all of the places that you want. So maybe I want, uh, you know, all of this this selection to be an SVG. Maybe I want, you know, these three page pages to be JPEGs, for example. Um, this dialogue, as you can probably see, uh, is a vast improvement from the pre previous one, but there are a lot of problems remaining. Um, some of them are cosmetic, uh, but a lot of them are stru structural as well. It's going to need some more work, I think. 
So I'm going to give, give myself probably about two weeks to work on this new dialogue, try and get it finished for, for the release. And uh, hopefully we can get this into 1.2, because I think a lot of people are going to be very interested in seeing this. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you can hear a strange whistling in the back background, it's actually my heating system that's just kicked on. Uh, so thank you for bearing with, with me all the way until the heat is required. And uh, I'll see you all next week.